glad you picked that. That's one of my favorites. In fact, that particular song seems to come up a lot because it's so important for daddies to be the person who not only loves you but corrects you, that keeps you on track, that leads you home to heaven by his example. Now, no daddy's perfect. I know, for example, my kids have issues with me simply because I got divorced from my first wife back in 1991. Boy, that caused a problem. But it says in the Bible, honor your father and your mother. And if you do, God's going to bless you with a long and happy life. He didn't say you had to love your dad, because there are dads out there that are jerks, that are bad. If you had a good one, you're really blessed. But good, bad, or indifferent, make sure you honor your father and your mother on Mother's Day and Father's Day. One of my favorite scriptures is in the Gospel of John 14. And it reminds us that Jesus is the way to the Father. There are a lot of people out there that think that all religions lead to God. And that's true. Some for eternal punishment and some for eternal reward in heaven. John chapter 14, Jesus said, Don't be troubled. You trust God, now trust in me. There are many rooms in my Father's home. Some translations say many mansions. And I'm going to prepare a place for you. If this were not so, I would have told you plainly. But when everything is ready, I will come to get you, so that you'll always be with me where I am. And you know where I'm going and how to get there. This particular verse is the one that I always use to remind people not ever to commit suicide. Not if you, everybody thinks about it, not everybody, but a lot of people think about it from time to time. After I lost my wife and three kids back in 1991 to divorce, I thought about it. But it says right here, when everything is ready, I will come and get you so that you'll be with me in heaven. It just scared the heck out of me, thinking about if I would commit suicide, I would be there with Jesus a second later and him angry at me. That isn't the way you want to go to heaven. Jesus told the apostles, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. You know what the truth is? Anyone who believes in me will do the same works that I've done, even greater works, because I'm going to ask the Father to bless you. And you can ask anything in my name, and I'll do it because the work of the Son brings glory to the Father. Yes, I'll do anything that you ask in my name, and you have to believe it. Really believe it. When I was in seminary, I needed a car. I had a horrible car that was broken down, and I kept praying every day, Lord, I need a newer and better car at little or no cost. Newer and better car at little or no cost. I didn't care what kind it was. And after preaching at the seminary at the University of Dubuque in Iowa, a man came up, he says, that was a great sermon. He says, come outside, I got something for you. Now, remind you, I'd been praying every day for seven months for this newer and better car. He took me outside. His wife drove one of their cars. He drove the almost new Crown Victoria and gave me the keys to it. He said, God told him, the Holy Spirit told him to come to the seminary and give his car to whoever was preaching that day. People say, God never gave me a car. I said, did you ever ask him every day? Really, really, really believing that he was going to do it? No. Well, that's how it happens. You have to believe and ask according to God's will. Asking according to God's will is not asking to win the lottery. That always screws people's life up. Asking for a better marriage. Asking God who you're supposed to marry. If you love me, obey my commandments, and I'll ask the Father, and he'll give you another, a counselor, who will never leave you. He's the Holy Spirit who leads us into all truth. That's the power inside of every born-again believer that makes it possible to forgive people who have hurt us. It makes it possible for us to get through the tough times, and we all have tough times. 
It's by the power of the Holy Spirit in every born-again believer that gets us through. And finally, I'm leaving you with a gift, a special peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give isn't like the peace the world gives. So don't be troubled and don't be afraid. As you go forward, don't be troubled, don't be afraid, And especially when you think about Greg, take time to grieve and cry. If you have pain inside, God put those tears in there to come out so that you can find the peace that passes understanding from Jesus. Here's another song that the family has selected. 